morning year four. In this is your maths video for if you've got this booklet on Thursday the 28th of January. Now before we get started I just want to say two very big well done's. The first one is to Tyler and the second one is to Alex. Your effort at home has been brilliant for you so please keep it up and I hope I can start to say congratulations and well done to lots more children. Okay, so just before we get started then, I've got some two digit numbers on my board and we're going to find 10 more and 10 less. And the first thing we've got to think about is which digit changes. Is it the tens digit or is it the ones digit? Okay, so it's our tens digit, isn't it? Brilliant. So I'm just going to highlight those to help you at home. Okay, so that's all my tens digits now highlighted. And I've got to now think, what is 10 less than 53? So I'm going to focus on the digit in my tens column. The 5, that's worth 50. And what's 10 less than 50? It's 40, isn't it? Well done. And then the 3, because it's in our 1s column, just stays the same. OK, so now if we wanted to find 10 more, again, we're focusing in the 10s column at the digit 5, that's worth 50. And we've got to find 10 more, 10 more than 50 is 60 well done and the ones digit stays the same so 10 more is 63 now i want you to pause the video and see if you can find out 10 more and 10 less than the rest of my two digit numbers okay so well done for having a go at home let's see if together you got the right answer so 10 less than 67, 6 is going to become smaller, so it's going to be 57, and 10 more, the 6 is going to become bigger to 77, okay, this time I'm going to have 64 and 84. 81, 10 less than 81 is 71, and 10 more than 81 is 91. Now the last one is really tricky, so 10 less than 99 is 89, well done if you've got that one at home. But 10 more is going to bridge into 100. Okay, so an extra well done if you manage to get this one. It would be 109. Okay, fantastic effort so far, year four. So this week we've been looking at multiplication. We've learned lots of different words for multiplication. We've learned how to do it using repeated addition and how to do it using a number line. So we're going to have a quick recap of those before we start with today's brand new learning. Okay, so here I've got a multiplication question, four times three, which is the same as four lots of three. Okay, and if I was to write that as a repeated addition, remember we're focusing on this digit. So we'd have four lots of three. So that would be three, add three, add three, add three. And that was like the learning that we did on Monday, wasn't it? Okay. So now we're going to have a quick go on a number line. This is what we did yesterday. So each jump is going to be worth three. And we're going to make four of them. So one, two, three, four. I got the answer 12 here. If I added all of these threes together, I would get the answer 12 as well. Okay, 
So that's just a quick recap on the learning that we've already done so far. So your learning question for today then, Year 4, for our brand new learning, is can I begin to understand division as sharing? Now I know we're fantastic sharers in Year 4, so this shouldn't be too difficult for you. And we're going to start by looking at some other words for division. Okay, so we've got divide. Adding my sound buttons to help you with the reading. Division. Equal groups of. At the bottom there. Share and split. Okay, and all of those words are other words for division. And today we're going to be focusing on sharing. So on my board, I've got a problem for us to solve. Share the gems into six equal groups. So the first thing we need to do here for is to count how many gems we've got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. And what I want you to do today is to go and find some things that could help you. So I've got in school some counters that are going to help me. At home you might not have counters, but you might have pasta in one of your kitchen cupboards, but make sure you ask whoever is at home with you. You might have some toy cars. Okay, so have a think of what you've got lots of at home that you could use to help you today when we are sharing. So I'm just going to quickly flip to the visualiser where you'll see that I've already got 12 gems. And it asked me to sort these gems into six groups. So I'm going to do that now underneath the visualiser. So here are all my gems. I'm going to now share them into six groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Still got some left over, so I'm going to keep going. Making sure I put one in each group because we've got to share equally. Now I've ran out of gems now and each group has got the same amount. So I've shared my gems equally into six groups, okay? And if you have a look in your booklet for today, on page number 14, that's exactly what you've got to do first of all. So you've got some cards and you've got to split them into eight groups. So using your pasta or your cards or whatever you've got at home, make sure that you've got this many, okay, and then share it into eight groups just like I did. And we're going to now move on to the next part of question one, because they've started to show the division as a division sentence, okay. So let's just scroll back down. Okay then, so once you've shared all of your items at home into eight groups, you'll then have a question, okay? So my numbers are a bit different because I had different amounts of gems than you've got cards in your booklet. So all together, I've got 12 gems. And the number, the total amount that we've got always comes at the start of your division sentence. So that's why I've got that here. Okay, so the total amount divided, okay, so divided by the number of groups. So I shared mine into six equal groups. You shared yours into eight equal groups. Then we've got our equal sign, and then the amount in each group is your answer. 
Okay, so I've got 12, because that's how many I've got all together, divided by 6, because that's my number of groups. And let's have a little look at how many I had in each of my groups. So 12 divided by 6 equals, how many are in a group? It equals 2, doesn't it? Brilliant. So I'm going to pop my answer there. And when you come to this part of your learning year 4, okay, so we're still looking at how many we had here. You've got the first number, which is your total amount. You've got your divide sign. And then the second box, okay, is asking you for the number of groups. So how many groups did you share these into? And then the final box is our answer, which is the amount in each group. Okay, brilliant. Great effort so far. And now we're going to have a little look at a question for question two, which is really similar to what we did yesterday, where we used our number line to help us to multiply. So we're going to focus again, like yesterday, on this digit. And this tells me how big my jumps need to be, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to do a really big jump from zero to six, and then six to 12. And how many jumps did I make here for? How many big jumps did I make? I made two didn't I? Well done. So now I want you to go back to your booklet and we're going to have a go at question two. So just like I did on the board, you've got to draw on the number line to work out 15 divided by five. So that five is how big our jumps are going to be. Okay, so we'll do one big jump then another jump another jump but don't go past the number 15 because that's how many we've got in total okay so once you've done question one and two you'll want to start the video again and we'll have a little look at question number three so it says practice sharing into three equal groups and we know that I'm sharing by three because of this number here okay if your number here isn't a three if it was a five you're going to share into five equal groups if this number was a two you're going to share into two equal groups okay so this is how many groups we need and the numbers across the top are the total amounts that you'll need. So I'm going to count out nine gems and I'm going to share them into three groups. So let's do that under the visualiser. So I need nine gems. Let's count out my nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've got to share these now into three groups. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then however many I've got in each group is my answer. So you can see that I've got one, two, three in my group. So the first answer, nine, divided by three equals three. I'm going to have a go now at this one. 12 divided by three. So let's count out my 12 gems. Nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to share them by three. And in each of my groups, I've got one, two, three, four. So 12 divided by three equals 
four. Okay, and you've got a question just like this for question number three. Okay, but you're dividing by two, so you'll have two equal groups. Okay, so I'm about to pause the video now and quickly have a go at question number three. Our last type of question for today, then year four, are some questions that are written as division facts, okay? So, using my prompts at the bottom, so the first number is the total amount, so I've got five gems all together, divided by five, so I'm splitting my five gems into five groups, which would equal five, well done. And then the next one then, so this time we've got 15, which is my amount I've got, divided by five, which is my number of groups, equals, so I'm going to count out my 15 gems, Share them by five. And you'll see that in each of my groups I've got one, two, three. So fifteen divided by five equals three. And I want you to do just like I've done, so use whatever you're sharing at home to split them into five groups to find out your answers, okay? So once you've finished today's learning, then like always, I've set you a challenge. And it says, I have shared 21 equally into three groups. Am I right? Okay, so you've got to think, is Miss Colcliffe right or wrong? And the key word here, year four, is equally, which means the same. Okay, so have a look at my groups. Does each group have the same amount? To finish today's learning then, year four, we're going to spend a few minutes just reflecting on our learning so we're going to roll my dice let's see what number we land on to see what question we need to think of so I landed on a number two which says what were you most pleased with so thinking about your mass learning today what were you most pleased with what did you do really really well that you feel really proud of yourself for don't forget to take a picture and send it to the year four email address